Hello everybody, I am doing some videos. So this is going to be my first ever video on the, well not really first ever video, but new me video on the Tony Hawk game. And this is probably going to be what I'm going to be moving on to since I got my PC up and running and got a good screen recording software, which is fraps if you can't tell by the 30 frames a second logo up there. This game can run at um, a full... Uh, you know, 60 frames, but, uh, well, not really, I can, I can probably run a lot faster than 60 frames, but, you know, I'm creeping it at 30 because my video files will just rate me in the arsehole if I have it any more than, you know, 30. I can go, like, make it, I don't know, 29 frames and just save on barely any frames at all. Um, this can be a video just to, you know, talk about this game, play it for a little bit, and then I might do a review later on it. But it's also going to be mainly for footage for, um, my comparison video I'll be doing on Thug 2 versus Thug 2 Remix. Although this is, uh, Thug Pro, it's basically the same game. I'm going to be just showing this to you, the, just the Thug 2 level, so, just to make it, um, more realistic, and, uh, with the Thug 2 layout. I, I prefer the, um, American Wasteland. Uh, balance meter and like you know special meter and stuff like that but uh, you know trying to make this a bit more authentic and realistic here so make it look like more like Tony Hawk Underground 2 so there's that I'm um, just showing you all the levels quickly playing through these all and uh, give me some commentary uh, I've already shown enough of this level, Play got a nice good 2 million point combo right there. Let's go to Boston. Uh, Boston's an okay level. You can't really get the highest score in here though. It's not the best level. It, you could definitely do some good realistic stuff in here. Right, if, if you're to turn on all your stats, go into sick difficulty and do that kind of stuff. And remove the HUD. You can definitely do some good uh, realistic skateboarding. Excuse me. But, uh, enough is really great for Tony Hawk, you know? You can definitely get some, you can definitely get a good combo in here. But it's not, it's a bit awkward to do anything in here. I've actually been, I've been playing, I'm pretty sure the Tony Hawk games are the first games I've ever played, you know? I think Pro Skater 2 is my first ever game. It's just, it's just cool. It was a good game, actually. I can do some footage gameplay on that one as well. I'll probably have to do it on an emulator because I can't use craps on a PS1. <laughs> or even a PS2, let alone. So if you have to just use a PS1 emulator, which I actually I do have. And I got legitimate copies of the, these games, so don't worry about me being a. Uh, this illegally. I'm just gonna. I just like to use it so I can get a better full screen image of the game, you know? Show more of it. And uh, get, get a like, higher quality version of it, I guess, you know? So I can like play PS2 games at 1080p, you know? It's better than playing it at native resolution. Um, but yeah, I'm um, also for so my. Uh, I'll be doing um, Thug 2 Remix on a PSP emulator, so the game's gonna look different than it will natively on the PSP, because I can just upscale it and like, you know make all the textures a bit more clean. Although it's, I say clean lightly because it just looks all mushed together. It looks like a painting almost, you know, like that's kind of what it looks like. Everything just looks like painting, which is not not too great. Alright, we'll change the level again. Kind of getting sick of this one. Let's go to Barcelona. This is a good level. Yeah, I've been doing. I'm going to be getting into like more PC gaming related videos and doing. Okay, you know like those like really small channels like really classic kind of game reviews and stuff like that. I might be. Stunner to do some of those kind of videos too, because those videos I just I just like to watch those. You know, they're they're really entertaining. They're really well made. I got to give props to uh, people who make videos like that. 
this one channel, I know I, he doesn't know me at all, but uh, I'm just gonna shout him out anyways, and he's definitely a lot bigger than me, but whatever. Uh, you should check out that Square Eye Jack, you know, this guy's a really good channel. He's got some good content, and uh, definitely recommend checking him out. Uh, you're welcome for your unknown uh, shout out, Square Eye Jack. You're gonna shout me out next? <laughs> no, talk to him too. He doesn't know who I am. But yeah, I, I respect his content. He's got some really, really good videos. Uh, I don't know if he's been doing another thing where he's like doing Sly Cooper reviews and stuff. I don't know, he says he got all of his games stolen. I'm not sure if he's actually being legit or if he actually did get all of his games stolen. If he did, though, sorry man, sorry to hear what, uh, what happened. Just a lot of games gone. But, you know, he got a PS4 now. Yeah, in Thug Pro, I like to use the American Wasteland theme, because I just... Oh, I think I already said this. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, I'm running out of things to talk about. Alright, here, here's the story. Okay, so, true story. Uh, I was sitting in the class, right? And, um, I was hanging out... Well, not really hanging out, just doing my work, really. And then my friend Matthew says to me, You know, pop music actually requires real talent to make, unlike your metal music. And I'm like... And I'm sitting there confused, like, where the hell does this topic come from, for one, and two, what the hell are you talking about? Do you even know what you're talking about? I don't think you know what you're talking about. Because pop music, you don't even know how to sing, write, like, any, like, lyric with actual meaning, or really anything at all. You don't know how to, you, can, you don't even know how to play an instrument, man. You can just, you can just use auto-tune and get a computer having a seizure, or use an iPhone's uh, ringtone as your instrumental background stuff. And then just upload that and call that as a, oh shit, call that your new hit single, and then every basic white chick in Starbucks would love it, no joke. Uh, whereas metal, you need to know how to, you're gonna need to know how to at least play one instrument, which would be the guitar, electric guitar, acoustic guitar, um, drums, you need to know how to sing, you need to know how to scream even, if you wanna do like, like songs like death metal or um, I don't know, but metalcore, you know, that kind of genre, or even just like, uh, thrash metal. It's not really screaming, it's more, uh, it's more pop, like, random, like, no, not random. I can't think of words right now. Uh, normal singing, I guess, you know, things like Megadeth, they don't, they don't scream off their lungs until, like, they have their throats ripped out of their, uh, neck, <laughs> I don't know. Um... They have a bit better, you know, uh, singing. Uh, they don't use auto tune or anything like that. I, I, I don't know. I haven't heard any metal songs using auto tune. If you have, I'm kind of curious to know what that sounds like. If you want, you can send me a link. I'll be curious to hear auto tuned, um, you know, auto tuned metal music. I mean, even metalheads can actually make better um, pop songs than pop so artists can. If you check out channels like Jared Dines, or whatever, I don't know how to pronounce it, he, he made a video called, uh, Metalheads Make a Pop Song. I think that was hitting ass. I think it definitely was him. Um, yeah, he made a really good pop song. No, no, um, no auto tune or anything like that. Like, the guys can actually sing, uh, play instruments. It's, you know, how music should be. But, uh, I don't know. I guess people find repetitive annoying computers having a seizure with robots singing um can they consider that great music whatever i'll respect the taste for now but i personally prefer punk metal and whatever rap plays on tony hawk because they know where the rap is at uh my friend brody actually showed me some really good rap artists like not not nothing from like tony hawk or anything so i'm gonna start branching out with my rap music Yeah, this actually reminds me of like, the pizza, uh, the pizza roof, or whatever the talk, like nacho roof from American Wasteland in Santa Monica. It's a good level. Definitely doing some gameplay in American Wasteland. Love that game.
Okay, I changed things levels up before I have to do another... Before I get another 42 gigabytes. Because I already recorded this, this but, um... It, my file size ended up being way too big for me to, you know, put on a USB stick and edit on my PS4. Cause this, I, th I gotta say, Share Factory's got a really good editing software, so I just should use that. I don't like this map too much. I can't land anything in here. Like, it's, this isn't the perfect map for me to fall down over and over and over again. So if you want to win against me in a trick attack or something, or graffiti on online, Doug Pro, uh, just just play this level. <laughs> I will be raped. Straight up. I can't land anything in this level. I'm not good in here at all. So it's, it's weird because some people are just, this is like their best level to play in, but whatever. That's cool. Get, get some good practice on your favorite levels, eh? I can't, I can't get a high combo or um, even land anything in this map at all. It's annoying. I was going to fall there. Got lucky. Okay, I'm going to just quickly break the floor in half. Slam it down the floor. And let's go to New Orleans. Let's get this, let's wrap this up quickly. Uh, I could just open up all the skull crypts, but that just destroys the level, so I don't want to do that. I already did that in the last video, and I didn't want to skid in here anymore, so it's like the keep New Orleans looking like New Orleans, not like frickin' hell. Um... Oh, is that a McDonald's? Oh, it is too! That's cool. I didn't notice that. I've only ever seen McDonald's um, in a Tony Hawk game in uh, Pro Skater 4, or not Pro Skater 4, in uh, Underground 1. Why does it just wipe off? Huh, weird. Just fades away really quickly. This is a good level though, I can, I can definitely like, land a higher combo in here. It's annoying that my special tricks keep on resetting, so... I've just gotten too lazy to even fix them. I think I've got to save my online settings after I change my trick, so I think that's what's up. Yeah, maybe I'll just do that after. Yeah, let's change level again. Let's wrap this up. That's underground. Uh, Skatopia. This is... Eh, it's a weird level. Uh, I don't like it too much. But it's, it, it, you can get a good combo in here, I guess. Um... Okay, my friend, uh, Dante. Uh, he... He's got a, he's got a YouTube channel. I, uh, he does Call of Duty stuff on PlayStation. If you want to check out his channel, I'll leave, uh... I'll just leave a link in it to his videos. Or I'll leave a link to his latest video in my description, because he... He could use some shoutouts, I guess, right? He's got he's he's actually growing really quickly. He's at like 132 subscribers and he's only been on for like about a month or something. I've been making videos for a month. He's been on YouTube for about a year. Uh the guy's pretty clickbait. He's your average uh you know Um how what is it? Like Call of Duty like small Call of Duty YouTuber. It's like one of those guys, but whatever. He's my friend, he's a pervert and uh why not shut him out? Yeah, I gotta give the guys who made this mod props, man. These guys did a great job giving us a whole crap load of features, a whole crap load of stuff to do, and it just... They did a great job with it. I gotta... Gotta give them... Gotta say good job to that one. That's not their Skatopia. I'll uh, level up. Oh, I can- wait, what? Hip transfer ramp. Oh, I don't even know that. This game looks weird in the evening, that's for sure. Okay, uh, ch ch chains level. Uh, pro skater, this is a weird level. I can't figure out how to get out of the alien part, so let's be skating in here just really quickly. Uh, everything's open on the online. Did not free skate? Yeah, I don't know. 
Okay, let's get out of here. I don't like this level too much. Get out of the summit. Um, the triangle. This is a cool level. I think it's based off just basically the Bermuda Triangle uh, conspiracy theories and stuff. Which is interesting. It's a weird level, has nothing to do with uh, the story of one, uh, Thug 2 at all. But, you know. It's, it's cool. You can get a good combo in here as well. It's just a fun level. Not a bad level at all. I think American Wasteland has some of my favorite levels. I'll be doing some gameplay on that one as well. I think I like how American Wasteland has, um, you know, the ability to just like go through each level through the loading tunnel. It's not really just open world like they kind of promise. Not, not like what they did with uh, Project 8. But, uh, or even Proving Ground, even though Proving Ground's got bridges and stuff, but that makes more sense because it has, uh, different areas of, like, like, I don't know, for example, it has, uh, Philadelphia, um, was it, uh, Philadelphia, um, I remember the other two maps, uh, wa the DC, Washington, I guess, and, uh, it has, uh, what was that last one? Uh, I can't remember it. It has another area, I forgot. And it has like, three maps in each of them. It's, so it's got like your typical nine maps that either 20, uh, like most 20 hot games have. But uh, yeah, it's a good game. I don't know, I think that game's pretty underrated. People give it a lot of hate for reasons I can't figure out. I spent a lot of hours on that one as well. Um, yeah, I'll be doing uh, Thug 2 Remix. Um, video pretty soon so I can do my comparisons later. But, uh, yeah, I'll be putting up a Thug 2 Remix video soon enough. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoy this Tony Hawk content, give yourself a smack on the pinky toe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.